you, you, you paid too, right, Paul? Yes, I did. Oh, good. Yeah. Not getting off free this time. Yes, I did. I did too. <laughs> well, I, I did go off today. You will draw it. Oh, I, you don't know you're a freebie as long as you help. If you don't help, you don't help. Am I free? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> You're in a strange state. <laughs> okay, so um, I'll go to the syllabus. I believe I wrote one, didn't I? Yeah. Where is it? There it is. Oh, it works. Yay. Internet. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So I'm not sure what to what everybody wanted to cover, but I was going to cover the various programming uh, articles that we got from Amiga Future and just field questions and help work through them. That was my plan. There's also a SATA driver I can explore if you're so interested. Very much Somebody so. is. Very much so. Um, not sure how interested Paul will be because it doesn't have a lot of GUI. So you might <laughs> I haven't done any GUI programs <laughs> yet. Yes. Can I interrupt you oh. for about five minutes? What's up? Uh, I just need to mix up with you. Oh, yeah! Oh, you just started, though. I know, I know. <laughs> I know. That's, that's, I'm trying to catch you before you started. Sorry. Oh, all right. I guess we have to stop. <laughs> just for a second. Just for a second. Everybody can, can help. Mill amongst yourselves. What are we doing? We have to move stuff. Oh, more right. stuff. How much stuff? I don't know. Oh, just a couple of monitors and three boxes, four or five boxes. I don't know. Has Hans arrived? Well, he'll be here tomorrow. He'll be here tomorrow. Yeah, so we're going to do some more 3D tomorrow. Okay. tomorrow. okay. That's the plan. But please don't just skimp on the SATA driver. Ah, uh, see, see, oh. see, see, see. There you go. Thank you, gentlemen. I could very easily skim. Please don't. <laughs> so the sh Is that it? shift key doesn't work on. Okay. So you use this for those four? He's got to try his keyboard. Now. Go? No, no. That's one of the things stolen in the trade. Oh, oh right. I just I can't get out. I brought them in and out. Wrap together. The other mouse doesn't work because of the word. You have to use mouse. Terrible. Well, if you guys are okay with crime, let's do Andy eat some water break. Crime? You guys will love it. Drug dealers, yeah. gun runners. Not so, not oh, so good. It's great. We live there, it's fine. Nighttime. <laughs> <laughs> armed guards? Or? You know what a lot of us are. Right. Wow. The community has its own auxiliary police. Yeah, the, that, we but we do that pretty much everywhere we have. If you need more of them, you know. No way! That's normal. That's normal. We have our own force, our own actual police, that's our right. own emergency service. That's schools. not normal. It is for <laughs> us. Okay. Pretty it's not normal. Donald's, you, know. you ever heard of the Sharia? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey! <laughs> that was easy. Let me tell you something, all right? <laughs> <laughs> He's a troublemaker. None of your dudes <laughs> wax. <laughs> You even said, yeah, for a second. <laughs> That's what you want on a way of day. No dancing. <laughs> no, 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 I call it for <laughs> If you find too many, you get right. <laughs> no, exactly Dancing's right. fine, it's not mixed dancing. <laughs> yeah, no touching. Okay. I don't see how that's better, but <laughs> actually, it's a lot better. It's like dancing is now fun as opposed to being something else. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Anyway, it did let me walk off the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just anything that involved a shift key was kind of. <laughs> Although now we get to find out whether or not Brian's keyboard works. <laughs> well, that should work. Yeah, so I have a lot of uh, SATA drivers, Paul. I love them when they work. I don't when they don't. Yeah, but I'd, I'd, love, to, I'd, I'd, love, to see, I'd love to see how you start from a, sort of a, a, a skeleton exec device and then how to work with um, yes. a track disk device. I've never done that. And first, also, they're very curious how you took the code from Levada and you connected it all over because that's probably non trivial. and. That's correct. So, so, I really like to. I mean, I know other people have other things, but that's the thing I'm here for. Okay. Okay. Wow. And Val, I, I think you're just along for the ride, or did you want to do? <laughs> yeah. Pretty. 
Well, you probably want to go through some of the good mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. More interesting. So I'll, I'll, I'll try to speed it up, you know, a little bit. Maybe we'll just start with the Amiga Future articles and, uh, and then move on a little bit later to the, the driver. I know the driver I could go on for days. Easy. <laughs> Here's where we did shift. And there's the magic. Oh, no, no. A higher level than that. It's, it's amazing the complexity you can get into. No, it's not. It is me. <laughs> I'll make you love it. <laughs> We're die trying. You will. So a development environment, I just thought I'd query. Everybody's used to that here, because you guys have been here before. So all the new people didn't show up yet. So. Oh well. Too bad. Devi uh, development environment, nothing new here. Maybe they're in the next room learning it. Maybe they're in the wrong room. Yeah. Do we need to download any of the code examples for these? Are you going to walk through any of that or are we just going to do it on the screen? Um, what I did is I cut and pasted. Okay. So they all, actually I went through every example, they all copied and pasted and then you hit compile and they work. Every single one. <laughs> well, I think you had to actually make some changes for that to happen, right? Yes, they did. The, the current version on the Vicky yeah, right now works. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Was, was tag end valid? Oh, the tag. Yeah. I got saw a that, did you? pile of warnings. Is that... Really? Yeah. Yeah. Is it no good to do that? <laughs> there shouldn't be any warning about tag in. No. Oh, wait. There's something funny about how you use tag in. There is? I don't know. I thought so you meant tag done tag versus tag in. Done versus tag well, they're aliases for each other. They're the same? Yeah. Why would you get a warning? I don't know, but I got a pile of them. Oh, I... I would like to see this warning you speak right. of. <laughs> oh no, I don't have it on this machine. I have it on the X5000. I can, I can, I can um, see if I can download the original copies and try and compile it again. Oh, use the current ones. Yeah. yeah, there should be a warning, I thought. And you know all about that. Uh, that. Storm C5 editor actually purchased that. I did too. I have a copy. I haven't used it much. Because I'm so used to set. Sigma set. Anyway. Um, documentation, you know where that is. Anybody try this program? It actually works. <laughs> it's not much of a program. Let's try it. Make sure it works. I'll try right now if you don't believe me. <laughs> Why not? How do I get? You go away. This is a little tricky because everybody's watching. <laughs> you mean you haven't rehearsed this? <laughs> I refuse to answer. Um, so what's this one called? Check. Plus four. I'm going to do that right now. One dot C. So what I do, open up whatever editor you have. Okay. Paste. Save. Oops. Save. And I go in here. And I copy that command line. Put it here. Hit run. Program complete. And it works, see? But does it do anything? Yeah. That's what it does. Just make it. Whatever it does, it's doing it right now. Better. Oh, I got errors. You got errors. Fascinating. No, I think it's because the, when they did the copy, it didn't do the uh, inline correctly. The <laughs> stray <laughs> slash 240 in program, yeah, that's not quite right. This stuff's too complicated. Yeah, I'm not very good. <laughs> <laughs> I just came down to my son and job, Nickel Steve. <laughs> Man designs chips all day and I can't. <laughs> this is all I do. <laughs> it's way beyond me. <laughs> uh huh? This is far simpler than do this again. Stuff is. And whammo! Now it works. Good, good. Yay! Was it copy paste error? Yeah, it was. Oh, good, good. It was a copy paste error. 
<laughs> ah, then we're, we're up and running. <laughs> oh, you doing well? Did you try it? Oh yeah, code bench. But the thing about code bench is, uh, I don't know how to make that command happen. Code bench. You have to make your own. Make, you have to hit the build button or something. But it worked. Like it did what it's supposed to or not. No library. Takes a little while. <laughs> yeah, our uh, our shell goes a lot quicker. I didn't try these in CodeBench. I always meant to, but then I ran out of time, of course. <laughs> it took me three days to go through all the examples and fix them up. So I do, you know, I only get a couple hours a night. So it's like, go, 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 go. <laughs> oh, baby's crying. Oh. <laughs> back again, back. At least they all work. I was really impressed by the um, the reaction ones. Oh, we won't all the gadgets! Wow. The examples? Yeah. Impressive. Wow. Don't they still have a bunch of like um, uh, deprecated functions in them? Yes. Yes. I didn't have time to clean them up. Oh, wow! Come on. Well, these were written a long time ago. I know I I, I marked the copyright 2013, but I think you wrote them here even before that. <laughs> Quite a while ago. Oh yeah, these are all. This is all donated material, by the way. I should mention that. Thanks to uh, Michael. thanks to uh, Michael Christoph. He wrote all these articles, and then they were published in the media future. He also had helpers, so I put the little helpers there. Niels Pedersen, in this case, probably helped with translation or something. I'm not sure. But, uh, really nice of them to donate these. They're, they're high quality stuff. Huh. We will move on to the kernel. Okay, well, which pages are you? Which, what, you're in the Amiga Future programming articles? Yes. Oh, interesting. The, I clicked on the uh, Amy West 2016 DevCon yeah. link, and that's broken. Where'd you go? On the wiki page. Yeah? Well, I'll have to see. Yeah, that's very right smart. Right. I'll click on that. That's fine. See. Well, now it's loaded. It's like just it must have standing here. Copy. The solely yeah, You're welcome. Oh, right here. here. Look. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's, uh, that's interesting. So, okay. I, yeah, I was waiting for it to load. So, okay. But you're in these pages, right? Yes. Oh, those ones. I'm in, the, I'm in the, uh, the kernel now. The kernel. So you still use the locker. People no, us. usually, yeah, no, this is not right. This is OWB. I just run that because it, it renders a page, but at least it doesn't kill memory. <laughs> That's Amiga for you. Everybody does it their own way. Yeah. Yeah. So, are you okay there? No? Okay. Exact kernel. So, um, this is an interesting article. It's kind of explaining how the 68K and the PPC are mixed together and mingled. Do another love. <laughs> Where do you want your stuff? Your stuff. Oh, interesting. There's a whole bunch, is there? Well, it's easier if we just move it all. See? What do you want? What do you want? They'll figure themselves out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, nothing new here. The, over, oh, the interface stuff, we did this last year or previous years. Yep. Nothing nothing too exciting. Let's get a SATA driver already. Um, <laughs> I, I still would be very I'm still interested historically as to why interfaces were there. I've why? asked that question before. Oh but I, I got a little bit of history on that. From um, Fleecy Moss. 
Yes. So that was actually something that was decided by Amiga Inc. Yes. It seems to it source from there. Wow. They I remember the talk about it. Amy Verse knew it was true. Amy Verse and all that, and uh, they wanted objects, and each object had multiple interfaces. It would be all conceptually that way. Yeah, the only thing that's got added to was always four. It would be pluggable. So what, could, there's anything else? No, but there was going to be. There was going to be, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So that seemed to be how it started, from what I've, I've heard from other people. And then it's just, it was just a nice way of getting rid of the namespace issue, the polluted namespace issue. Mm -hmm. You can have interfaces and you can have little pointers. And now you don't have, have to worry about prefixing function calls all over the place. But that, that's what I was told. It kind of okay. started there. That's the best explanation I've heard. Yeah. The, the, the explanation that I had heard was it had something to do with uh, the no desire to be able to compile libraries for both 68K and... Well, that was another side effect. Yes. Yes, it, it allowed 68K PPC code to coexist. Right. Yep. But I think the birth was the Amiga 8. Their whole object stuff. They want everything to be objects. And then, of course... Different version interfaces. Yeah. And yeah, so you could... Kind of like Corva, if you will. You know, oh God, please don't send me back. Com, yeah. Corva and Som and yeah, that kind of stuff. Yeah. We're, we're used to that most of us. Although <laughs> I'm gonna say it worked really well when they were working on OS4 to begin with. It was in 68K and they were co parallel compiling components in 68K and PPC, and you could swap components in and out. And run okay, I want to run 68K. Whatever now, oh, I'll run the PPC one. And go back and forth. And interfaces had something to do with that, wasn't it? No, I don't. The interface. Oh, I don't think that mattered. The interface. Was it? No. Okay. okay. No. L dot main. L dot main. Yeah. 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 Yep. Right. The glue. The glue code. Yes. Right. The, the mighty yep. glue. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm I can't. I'm trying to remember. How was it? We switched pieces back and forth. Was it the Kickstart or was it here? Yeah. Was it in yes, yes. How we did it? Yeah, you just had to point to the right one and it flipped. Right. And, and then, so of course, the, sort of one the, the entire OS had to be yeah, retrofitted for the interfaces. It took them ages, I imagine. I wasn't there. So I, I missed that. You weren't. I missed that opportunity. Somewhere I saw backups of a booting OS 4 68K system. You were there. I was not there. Yeah, Val, you were there? Was you were the only one? Tony, maybe? Yeah. You were at the beginning? Yeah. Oh, I assume you were there before I was. It was a 68K day. Yeah, sure. Oh, there you go. I was. Got, I got in in 04 or something like that. Wow, okay. <laughs> There's a couple experts. <laughs> that would be going in bar. <laughs> he's, he's showing here how you can compile for 68K or PPC using the same source of tree, which is kind of neat. Now, I admit I did not try to compile it for 68K. I don't even have the... Because I don't know what MCPPC is. It's, is it like a Big Mac? Like a PPC? <laughs> I don't know. Seems unlikely. <laughs> Maybe it's a cross-compiler or meta-compo or something. Uh, anyway. Never did figure that out. I did update all the little screenshots, though. My own. Uh, hardware processor. So this was kind of a neat program that uh, showing you how you can output some information about the actual processor that's running. And on here, I ran it on my machine and spit out SAM 460EX. That's cute. You know, it's so in case your program's hardware dependent, you can actually figure out what you're running on. The most important aspect, I think, was to figure out whether you have Ultivec present or not. And that was the way to figure out whether you had an Ultivec processor there or not. So you could actually make your program adaptable. I don't think many have. I know, I always thought you had to like, have it at runtime or something. No, you, you can tell it's there. You yeah. don't have to compile so it. Like any player with all the back and player without. Put this in there. No, you don't need to have two versions. Yeah. Right. No. You can have one with the You can have one. Yeah. It has both modules compiled 
one with Oldbeck, one without. It's just a little larger. Why but do you have all these variants of, why do they have all these variants of the 440 and the 405? You're asking me, eh? Yeah. You don't know where they're planned when you're actually using any of these? Line book. I do not know. I can't imagine. Yeah. I do not know. Line book in there. There's What's a lot there? of variants in there. And then, oh, on the, the 5120 one is the line book. It's interesting because the latest one, it says XX. But on these ones, well, this, these ones were XX too. And those, but the, those are the G4 specific. chips. Well, yeah. yeah, but that's also because the, the SOCs, right? It wasn't just an issue of oh, right. instructions. There's all sorts of peripheral differences. They had different peripherals yeah. on each one. So it's just like uh, the pick world, which I lived in. <laughs> we have a zillion different configurations. Yeah. And How exactly that saves people money, I have no idea. I don't know. Memories galore? It's a memory. Oh, just showing you how to use the latest uh, memory interface. Some of those memory stuff is really cool. The idea of having yes. named memory and, and pools really is cool. I do like yes. that. Yes. That was a, that's a neat solution. I don't know if anybody's actually using it, but it is, it is, it is cool. I like that. And oh, the OS uses it. Does it? Yeah. yeah. Good. For sure. If that's the case, can we well, actually well. see what these regions are labeled as and what they're being used for? I smell a feature for Ranger. Uh, actually, I thought I already did that. But oh, did you? Probably did. Let me pull it up. It'd be under exact, I would think. Let's see. Memory. Name memory. Yep, you got it. There you go. Um, <laughs> the other one that seems to use it here is. Give us an overview, and maybe it's already in there, and this is redundant. With pools, how, generally, what's the idea behind the pools? and how you allocate memory from that as opposed to just allocating it from free memory specs. Good old pools. Yes. We have a very good article on that. I was. Well, like I said, I assumed it was redundant, but... We do have a decent article on pools. I mean, I could talk, but uh, I will also point to Reference. I don't know exactly where it is, so I usually go the slow way. One link at a time. Memory pools. It is a block of memory. Is that an effort? <laughs> so essentially, the idea is um, that your application might have a lot of work to do with memory. A lot of locations or something. A lot, right? And so you want your own little pool of memory that you can play in and not bother the system with. Will it result in less, more speed, less fragmentation? Yes. Okay. Yes. All of these if your app is really going nuts with the RAM, like allocating, deallocating all the time. Right. Yeah. If it's allocating and deallocating relatively small blocks, it makes a lot of sense. Relatively small blocks. If you're if you're grabbing like huge right. regions of storage and then giving it up. It's not going to buy you much performance-wise. Right, because you still got to do that anyway. Other, other than the fact that you, I mean, actually no, it really wouldn't get any benefit. But when you're doing lots of little things, um, so when you're iterating through like a data set or something, yeah. and you're, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I, mean, I, I, mean, I kind of understand, I mean, I have understood generally how it's working, but I mean, and that yeah. those are the benefits. You're, yeah. You get to play in your own sandbox, but I mean, do you use the same allocate command and then you allocate from the pool? No, they have pool. different actual interfaces. They do. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you and go then, allocate pooled memory instead of. But process, or the or general philosophical of process is the same thing. You do find a pool of a certain size and then allocate from within that to so allocate. And, and attributes. So you, you, it, right. when you define the pool, it that's how you right. memory to be cleared. Or, okay. or There's actually attributes. Right. Well, and that also right. lets you get that pool ahead of time. Oh, know that it's there, sure. it's reserved for you, yep. and then you can allocate deallocate yep. without having it. In theory, would that save you from having to constantly test whether or not you've got the memory? Because it's coming from your pool and you know you got it. I don't think so. I think the answer is 
is that would you uh, sorry if, if you kept track of your use of your pool would that save you from the test to see if you were successful in allocating or not if you're allocating from your own pool well let's say the speed for you can't, you can't you should always do that you can't ask the system how much uh, pool you can push pool. your luck <laughs> but it's not it's not it's never safe to do that it's never safe but you can push your luck but i wouldn't do it i mean checking for no is so fast it doesn't matter it is okay I imagine modern CPUs are pretty quick at it. Yeah, they're very quick at it. <laughs> yep. In Power, we actually have little test instructions, and uh, it'll cache the results. So oh, effectively, beautiful. Effectively, what happens is that um, if, if your program isn't screwing the storage massively, you're doing all sorts of ugly options, a bunch of reservations, um, you get these little, little tradable structure, the OS will, and so yes. it boils down to basically a couple of branches. Yeah. 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 And, so and the CPU is like really, really tuned. If, get rid of well, this. it's, yeah, there's also OS support for it too, because what will happen is it'll recognize this and cache revolts. Yes, of course. Yeah. I think the same thing can be said of function pointers and things like that, because you know how people worry that, oh, another level of indirection is going to cause it to be slow. Well, there. But it's modern stack, CPUs will cache this, anticipate it even. Yeah. So they'll just, oh, it's done. It's, 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 a, it's a quick right. compare. Yeah. Yeah. So in the old days, yeah, you, it might make a difference if you did a lot of them. Because I get questions about the hook interface. Why is it so complicated? Yeah. It is complicated. You know, why is it so big and ugly? Well, back then they wanted to work on Pascal, and they wanted to work on uh, Fortran and C, and these list this it's <laughs> the only way to get it to interface generically was to have this primary entry sub entry so it could do a setup could do a tear down yeah. that's the way to do it but you always worry about the speed right another level of indirection more calls more checks if I might ask a question about memory pools how do you Decide what pool size and uh, attributes you you want to go to. Well, the way I decide is I actually measure. So, so to, to figure out how large a pool should be and how big your puddle should be, I actually measure the app's performance without them, with counters, watermarks, whatever, and then find an optimal number that works. That's the way I do it. But yeah, I have to measure because counting bytes is that doesn't work so great. <laughs> like by by eye, right? Yeah. But you don't, for instance, uh, keep a uh, high water mark of how many items you've you've used from the pool max. No, I do, I do that for a while. Like I do my own water marking, yeah. and then I throw that away and just use the pool. After that, I wouldn't wouldn't keep using it. Or sometimes I keep it in a test suite, a separate test suite, and then just have it swap go in parallel. And yeah. 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 yeah, depending on the project. Yeah, most most of the time you're not going to go back and change your mind, but sometimes no, something goes wrong. I've never been confident that my mind was made up properly in the first place. Yeah, like how do you know it's the proper numbers? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> because there's also a rounding it's easy going to always on. Top in right? three, two, seven, six, eight, but is it right? Yeah, is this a good number? And, and I've learned from um, talking to Thomas that, uh, you know, picking 32768, you're not really going to pick that because exec might put something on top of it. It might do alignment, it might do size alignment. So that number, really, just put 3,000. <laughs> Let it figure it out, right? <laughs> we, in the old days, it actually made a difference on 16K because there was no overhead or hidden things going on underneath in the subsystem. Now there is stuff going on underneath. Is there stuff going on underneath every allocation? Yes. Stuff that could be used for track memory, you're tracking. Oh yeah, it's all tracked. Yeah. It is tracked. Yeah, everything. Boy, it could all be exposed in yeah. like a program like Ranger. Well, what is it? You mean like? Uh... <laughs> Where is that section? Yeah, the problem with Ranger is Ranger is. Wonderfully useful, and you know what it all means. Well, I don't. It's awfully opaque. Where did we put the 
And apparently it's so big for the people who forget what it means. Research is dead. Like it's over. It's No. I don't think I have a... Maybe is it on the DOS? Yeah, you read this. You really want to be looking at the DOS sign. Ah, that's why I lost the dragon. See that? That's Collins from here. Yeah. I'm not allowed in there. Tracked address? There we go. That's what I was thinking. Why you Yeah, it's a DOS domain. So you built something on top of what exactly that is. So, in the get file gadget, there is all your memory and all the chunks that together make up your get file gadget. It's all tracked. Very, very uh, well. <laughs> very well. I, I can't remember why I did this. It was for another project booklet, which one I picked randomly. <laughs> Don't go to the file system. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even. I didn't, that was pretty funny. <laughs> that is. <laughs> I didn't know it was it on purpose. <laughs> oh. Here, hold on. <laughs> Whoa, what, is that? what is that? What is all this stuff? You can find out. Oh, look at that notification <laughs> server. I wonder, oh, that's an interesting one. That's a new one. <laughs> I don't know, I thought Matthew had something to do with that. <laughs> I have lots of stuff installed, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, the trouble we could get into. Um. <laughs> if only they knew. <laughs> It is fun. <laughs> Find name memory. I like the name memory. That's handy. What is light file system? What is all this stuff? Where are you looking? I'm looking in here. I'm looking in the tracked address space. Oh, no, no. Don't look in there. Yeah. Don't, it, what are you doing in there? <laughs> yeah. Nighttime games that. DOS? See, there's a lot of oh. things that your system has loaded that you don't know what it's been up to. <laughs> what is all this stuff? It, it's a it's a nice exercise to go through them all and try to figure out what they are because they all have a purpose. What seriously? I've never heard of light file system. What is that? Is that an NGFS thing? No. Uh, no. What is EPF? What, the, what is all this stuff? What are you all running on my machine? <laughs> yes. You have a lot of tuning to do when you get home. OE4. <laughs> OE4 NRG. Look at it now. Now he's curious. I know. You completely derailed at the poor man. Wait, there's a handler for VDI images? V oh, that's like a disk uh, image <laughs> device thing. <laughs> it's just too broad. Oh, it goes on and on in pages, doesn't it? Like, you, look at all the stuff in there. Look at all the stuff. What is Rapster? What is all this stuff? <laughs> We've been watching you. Does this mean? <laughs> If it's here, does that mean it's actually been run at some point in the past? Yeah. No, it's, it's, it's running loaded. now. It's loaded. It's running right now. It's loaded and running. What is Nighttime Games? <laughs> That's not an OS thing. You nighttime Games DOS. What is that? Matthew, I'm looking at you. Hmm? It's got a different <laughs> Aeon thing. <laughs> nighttime Games? What is that? Uh, it has nothing to do with us. <laughs> These are not the droids you're looking for. <laughs> Well, uh, I'll bet you nighttime games is screen like. Move along. Oh, <laughs> it's not the drawings you're looking for. Oh, this is compression. <laughs> oh, compression. Yeah, this is all from x Oh. oh. See? So look at all these modules. It's loaded and you not know. So I don't like this. That's, a, that's why I put it in there. You've made me very nervous. <laughs> the reprotection mechanisms. I'll, I'll move on to the protection mechanisms. Yeah, there's not much, <laughs> but there's some. Then there was debugging. Help me out here, because I understand the concept of a semaphore. What can you can you walk? What you text? What what is the difference here? It's a specialized semaphore. What makes it so different? It cannot be shared. That's it. It cannot be shared. Yes. It's simpler with other tasks, and it's faster. Well, why would I want? What's the point of having a semaphore if you can't share? Okay. Well, it, it, uh, we actually should have another mechanism shared, 
new taxes or shared some of the boards again? Yeah. Uh, the problem is the counter for the semaphore is a 16-bit value, I believe. The, uh, the usage counter, which doesn't, which makes things slow. Okay. Right. And these these primitives are used all the time. Right. Sure. So one of the ideas was to make a simpler interface for the OS components and programmers that just need mutual exclusion and not really share it, right? And it's 32-bit counter, and it's very, very fast. And it, it can even operate without a forbid. OK, so this is really more of a issue about uh, threads runtime rather than, than them needing to share data. Yes. Okay. 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 And, to, and, and to ensure anonymity or how you pronounce it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, 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 so kind of kill two birds with one stone. I got it. Yeah. Mutual so. exclusion. I just don't understand what the point of. I don't understand why we had two. Yeah. 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 I mean, mutex are our POSIX thing also. I don't. I just didn't. Yeah. Yeah. They they have the same same thing as POSIX. But um, yeah. It's, see, to keep compatibility, we had to stick around with that semaphore structure because whole programs would look directly in there. Oh, they only they got, got poke in there, right? How many of them have they got? 16 or 32? Which? Some of the four. Four no, four. Seven four? Seven four? Like a thousand. Why would you okay. Why would okay. you okay. no, I'm thinking about you're gonna, If you're going to look at the internal of the seven four, because that's why don't you just roll your own? And so did. And have like a fixed address or something where you've got these shared objects. Where did I see that? One I think I saw that in the side. Okay. Yeah, but I don't understand why this own semaphore. The whole point. Yeah, and that's fine. Yeah. Right, that's fine. But if you're going to use the system semaphore primitive, why in the world would you look at the internals? It's a full purpose. Well, well, these these programmers did strange things back then. Okay. Yeah. And they exposed the interface in the header file. That might have been the mistake. Oh, you mean if you want to okay. Commodore, the original programmers exposed the interface. And, oh, now it's gone, right? It's, it's out in the wild. The so. genius. The genius. Yes, Pandora's boxes have been open. You can cheat. The Ranger make a directory when it installs. Ranger makes a directory when it installs. Does it? it? No. No. It's not. It's not. No, I just want to tell you. I should probably change that somehow. No, I just would. I should tell us. I just didn't get into it. Um, oh, that's the link I wanted to fix. This is pointing in the wrong place. I should probably do it right now, but I don't want to bore you. What are you what were you looking The fundamental types. I thought I made an article that had the fundamental types in you it. You did. And I forgot I made it. And I pointed to the wrong one. Oh, it's got no one. <laughs> so I need to update this or at some point. When I remember again. I was wondering where that went. It's in the kernel. Okay. Oh, uh, and please interrupt with any questions. You know, like they've been doing. No? <laughs> if you have questions. You haven't mentioned auto pools. Item pools. No, I, I, I didn't. Uh, he didn't get into item pools. Michael never did. Uh, item pools are a specialized form of pool that every item is the same size. Yeah. So it can make all sorts of assumptions and optimizations huh. if they're all the same size. Mm -hmm. I use item pools in the SATA drive because I know each request is going to be this big or whatever it was. Work item, I think I called them. You, you looked at the code recently. A little while ago, right? No, no, I haven't looked inside. Right? Well, you, were, you were poking around to do the LED. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trying to be outside. It's trying to figure out where it goes, right? <laughs> well, you, you did the register settings, the, the tris, and the, yeah. all that stuff. Um, thank you for that. By the way. <laughs> Saved me a lot of time. <laughs> all I had to do is go, there, done. <laughs> that was very handy. So item pools is another uh, specialization of a, a memory pool. You don't generally need them unless you're doing, again, high volume uh, allocations. And they're all the same size. And I was doing high volume allocations a lot in the driver, right? I wonder if you're, do you need to come up with a GUI? Right, and I've never done this. I roughly understand, you make a list uh, gadget, you, you can you know, enter all the bits of data and we can use pool for that. So for every item in the list, you can't jump. Would it help you? If, if there's, there's, you have, 
Well, if there's thousands, yes. If there's hundreds, no. So it's kind of like if you want to uh, allocate your de allocated dynamic. Right. I, I mean, and I don't. I never dealt into it. Delved into it, but I wondered about it. If that's a place where you apply. Like a uh, ranger, for example, doesn't use pools. It uses big arrays. So when it's when it's scanning for something, it scans for everything, takes a copy, and then lets it go. This is to non. This is my non-interference design. Right. I don't want to interfere with the system running. I got so it. Read it, let it go. Right. Right, right. So what you're seeing is just a snapshot from the moment. It's, a, it's like a core button. Yeah. It's a snapshot at that moment. You hit the refresh button. It grabs another copy. And yep. Yeah. And so I, all I do is allocate one big array and just index in there. <laughs> Very simple. But that's because I know how big it's going to be ahead of time because I scanned it once and then I read it. What's the end? And I read it. <laughs> But uh, that was a design decision I made at the very beginning. Like normal programs, you wouldn't do that. It'd be dynamic, right? So if I'm going to have a thousand items, I just go one at a time and I use a pool and all that stuff. Well, that's what I was thinking. Well, I mean, if you're going to be yeah. scanning a list of files and you want to show that list of files in a Google. Yes. You're scanning through file by file by file, allocate file, allocate file, allocate. Is it better to get a pool? Yes. And then add more pools to it, or can you mix pools? Uh, don't mix pools. Not a great idea. Can you expand a pool? Oh, it, it uh, expands dynamically. It is. It, it happens yeah. automatically. Oh, I thought you did define a size to begin with. Well, you do it, yes. yes. You but then you can expand the outside. And then it just does its own thing. And, and the memory to, takes care of yeah, the memory system. It just expands. Yeah. It just expands. Because you start adding items oh, to really? it, it's drawn. So. But yes. once, you start once you start causing the expansion, I would imagine you lose any efficiencies that you might have. Oh, no. Having had the pool it, in the it first chunks place. It. it chunks things. Oh. So it tries to keep the efficiency up. I'm but curious, does, it, does the system have a like a global net mover that we can use? Or is that, I'm sure it's that does, right? There's move, man. Is that what you mean? Yeah. 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 And that's something anybody can use? Or is that just yes, it's in yeah. utility yeah. right now. OK. I don't understand why we have utility in exact. I think that was some floppy disk thing. <laughs> why is it an all in exact? Move them and will move overlapping blocks of you know, every worst case. Yeah, arbitrary overlapping regions that can handle. Cool. Yeah. And so actually, move MAM is used as a last resort in the graphics subsystem, actually. It tries to optimize things, but then if it runs out of ideas, it goes, okay, just use movement from example. So it, it's got several layers to it. It's fascinating. <laughs> I'd love to get into graphics library too. <laughs> Weird. <Maybe today. laughs> I, I love that that area because I've been spending so much time in it. <laughs> it's been a while. Now we should probably get into Collins domain now. Ah. Do, I just said I should call it Collins. DOS. <laughs> Colin lives here. Colin. <laughs> I ain't got no video on Skype. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's not right. Uh oh, now the internet's dead. Okay. <laughs> Is it? Well, it's taken a while. Oh, oh wireless is working. Oh. oh, it's loading here. Well, it's blinky. Dots the data. Yeah, broadcast again. <laughs> Tell me why, why, why you called it the data administrator. I don't understand. Dots is so freaking complicated. Dots is a is a nasty piece, isn't it? But uh, the recent version with all those deprecated and removed functions, much better. Well, every time he goes through it. it better. <laughs> he, he, he seems to do that on like a constant basis. Like every time, every time there is an SDK release, the even if it's like a minor change or whatever, his auto doc changes are massive. Yeah. Yes. He spends an awful lot of time yes. updating his auto doc. That's the our, our best up to date component in the system. Every data type's been converted to new types. Every auto doc's been corrected and fixed. It's the best pristine. Component. The auto docs are very well, very well written. Yep. If only they were spelled properly. Well, then there's the British versus American English. Yes. Right. <laughs> Colin's English is not uh, 
Oh, well, yeah, there's been a few spelling errors here and there. He corrects them. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we can correct them. We get the fit. Does he have broad eyes? <laughs> no. No, he's not. Nobody's there. that level. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you know what amazes me is how does that man get code to compile? I, Jesus must have Christ, so there must be so many errors in his code. <laughs> Oh. Uh, could it be the keyboard? We need to get him a new keyboard? Like, what is it? Wait, hold on, wait, we could get him his no, keyboard. No, no, no. The big Fisher Price. <laughs> <laughs> nope, it's just the way it is. <laughs> I've asked him about it. He's like, well, that's what the compilers are for. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> oh, so long file names. That was interesting. Thanks uh, to the. Yeah, and actually, so Olaf wrote that uh, article. Yes, he did. Let's go to explain how he did it. Which right, even right. goes into a greater an amazingly depth. convoluted way. <laughs> <laughs> you you get even more characters. So you you read that? I did. Yes. I did. I did. Did, 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 did anybody right. else troll through that one? Oh. I posted about it on a.org. I, you know, anytime there's a major thing on the wiki, isn't that I, wonderful? I, I, nobody pays attention, but I I yeah. post about it. I, I think I forget how that happened. I think he contacted me and said I wrote an article on how these work. Or, I don't know if I asked him to write it or he wrote it. I think he just wrote it. Just out of the blue. And I said, you know, this is gold. This is stuff that's never been documented in history. You must release it to the world. <laughs> Truth is, he failed it on an old floppy. <laughs> oh my goodness, that, that DCFS, that was quite an amazing piece of work. Just to try and get directories a little quicker on floppies. <laughs> I didn't mention that. that. <laughs> I know. That's like, that's it. <laughs> All that trouble. <laughs> Has it, hasn't Olaf given you a, a, a you know, a, 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 a monologue on the directory cache? It's yeah. been several years. Yeah, okay. Yep, we finally got it distilled down into that article. And now it's, now the world may know. The world may know. <laughs> the Wikipedia needs updating. Because <laughs> it, it had, I looked at Wikipedia and it had some kind of, and it's a mystery how this works or something like that. <laughs> hey, wait, you're saying that's not accurate? Not anymore. <laughs> uh, normal file operations. Now I didn't go through and update all these uh, examples very well. I did a little bit, but it needs more work to modernize. It's not uh, the scrub to Collins standards yet. It will be there. <laughs> I tried a little bit. You can see I got M32 in there. And, yep. You, know, Part of it. you might stop. So this was an interesting little program that they wrote, copy file. Did, did anybody try it? Well, there, no. 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 No time like It actually work. works. See, if you want to copy files, it, it does the job. It does it very well. And it uses standard DOS, and it's, it's look at how short it is. It's amazing. Copy file. It copies file from two. And it actually does it. It's very short and sweet in the Amiga way. Usually, this example will be seen in the standard C way, the Java way, C sharp way. You know, everybody does this example. It's kind of like Hello World next step. Right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> How do you copy a file? This is really, really cool. It literally all it does is you pass it at a, a pointer to a file. It iterates through in 1k chunks and then writes it out in 1k chunks. Yeah. And that's it. But why 1k chunks? You can, you can change it every day. Well, of course you can change it. But it's to one big chunk. Oh, right, right. But so you just use 1k because it's a simple way to... Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It just wasn't like meant as an example of a good way to copy a file. It was just no. a way to yeah. copy a file. Now I think if you allocate a k, you'll get four. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's a page. Yeah. Kind of like Unix that way. You're going to get a page. So, not bit on the <laughs> Oh, we have large page support these days. What What is the current page size? Your 1K it's maybe the it's still 4K in the power world, but over in Zland, yeah. we have some pretty big freaking page sizes. It's like a megabyte kind of thing? Like a gigabyte type of thing. Are you kidding? No. I can't. That's yeah. insane. It is insane when you consider that the machines have terabytes of storage, and that uh, yeah. when you're talking I/O land, you're you're way you know you're in you're in petabyte world out there. So 
exabytes. So when you're talking about like really big database movement, wow. we have customers that have databases that are terabytes or bigger in size. So amazing. Yeah. Amazing. And people want to do in transaction uh, analytics. Yeah. So they'll have that big data mark in memory. In memory. Right? So you actually do need these huge page sizes. And so we're worried about 1K. <laughs> now that isn't available to most people. Well, no, but certain, no, certain, 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 certain clients that want more performance and yeah. certain things will we do little things like that. People, people who own cool. clouds. Huh? People who own the clouds. People who are the cloud. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when they say the cloud, that's just that's somebody else's box, man. So did you compile them? Yes. I'll, I'll, I can try to generate yeah. warnings. Yes. What kind of warnings? Go ahead. Uh, pointer Any? targets in passing argument two of IDOS open differ in sightedness. Yeah. But that error occurs five times. Typical. See, I have not scrubbed them. <laughs> Is it expecting it to be signed? Well, at the moment you get one signed and one one signed. Right. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Conscious is what we're everything up to get spoke. Just sort of a little fortune thing that you call? Oh, yeah, I don't even notice them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have a fortune uh, program that I, uh, I love to run. It's, it's my name. Well, I get it. Ah, oh, yes. Yes, something messed up. Something messed up. Hey, that's an error. That's not a warning. Yeah. I thought you said it was a warning. Um, did I mess it up? Yeah. Oh, oh, I just did. I just got it. I made errors. I just got That's my own fault. You must have lifted up the closing brace. Okay. I must have missed it. Yeah. That's my own fault. Oh, it's a B pointer. A B pointer. No warning. Ha! Right there. No. Where? Yeah, come on. The B-pointer should be um, U-ends. Oh, it gets slided over to the left to cover it up. No, the B-pointer should be a B-pointer, not a U-end. I thought you guys like it. Can I try and find the U-ends? This one? Oh, yeah, sure. Yes. Um, Those are okay. Scroll down. They are. A little yeah. bit under the OGA. Yeah. You have to use them. Articles. Click on the one for DOS. DOS world. So the B-pointers are still there. They're not going anywhere. And we're down um, in the copy. Uh, he's been file removing them from every new API, but the old ones. You can just scroll stuck. past it, right? You want to remain compatible. And you want to be compatible, don't you? Do you have a little uh, archive of these code examples by any chance? No. I don't. All right. I so have the original code. That sounds like that sounds like a job for LD. You can just cut and paste them into an archive. Yeah, cut and paste them into text files and then archive them up. That would be nice. That would be nice. I have them split into all sorts of things. See, some the later examples have support files with them as well, the like GUI ones. Oh. So you need, it's not as simple as just cut, cut, yeah. and then there's create directories. Another, another little thing. Um, an interesting, I don't think create dirt tree was there before. That's a new function in uh, 4.1, 4.0. Oh, as opposed to I don't, I don't remember. Was it always there? Oh, new function. Yeah. So you can create the whole tree in one command, which is nice. Instead of going one, two, recursively. Yeah. And there's a little program. Nope. Nothing unusual in this. Uh, date. There's some date functions. Oh my goodness. Dates have always been a really interesting API yeah. in Amiga land. Oh, yeah. Hold <laughs> up. Set title, you can set title and stuff like that. And that gives you back an error code in, in result two. The, the error code in result two is the number of seconds since it's back in the old days. Oh, there's a side effect. Yeah, there's a side effect. Oh, so you've got to clear result two. Oh, and if you don't, you get caught with yeah. junk in there. What is what is this? It's, it's actually keeping track of the time since you last requested the. Which is that? That's one of the functions, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. 
What is it called? A date? Something set date? Uh, get date? This is get date. Get date. Read date? Or make it date. Something date. And fixed date. Read date, maybe? Set. He keeps, change, he keeps changing the Well, if you go to set, won't it give you a reference to string yes, date? Yes, well, it's not set. It's a read, it's not a write. Subtract dates. Add date. Compare. Date stamp. I can't even read that. How can you read that? No, 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 it's right. I don't know where it is. Fixed date. There's no get date. Maybe it's under utilities. Is it under utilities? No. No, it's part of DOS. It is DOS. Okay. Yeah, there's a side effect on uh, the result of two things. Yeah, I don't, can't see it obviously right now, but I believe you. <laughs> there's some strange ones in there. <laughs> current time, so that tells you how to get the time. So that's always an interesting shock for, for, for Amiga programmers, is why do I have to go through all this stuff to get the date? So why do you? Because it's a device. Why? They designed it that way. That's why? Timer device. Timer device. I don't know why, why did they choose... Well, oh, because the hardware clock is a device. Yeah, it just, it makes sense. It's a clock, it's a device. So it should have the device API. I'm just surprised it didn't have something like utility library or exec thought library where you just... I can't imagine that there's some data. higher level way to do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's yeah, at least half a dozen different ways of there's finding out what Yeah, there's half a dozen different ways. Because <laughs> right. yeah, yeah. that does look a bit of a blob, if I'm honest. Oh, it's a lot of work yes. just to figure out what the date is. <laughs> yeah, that's, the, that's the lowest way, though. This is the lowest. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It's in DOS, it's in utility. It's in intuition, even. There's a current time in intuition. Yeah, because there's got to be something, right? Because that so at some point or another, there's got to be some global uh, instant, instantiation of timer not device that the system uses, right? So yeah. It's in utility. Yeah, current time. Yeah, it's got to be. And it's some. Um, it's organized for your locale. Look at that. There's some languages. What an intuition for goodness sake. Right. Why but would it be an intuition? But that's probably oh, um, <laughs> that's probably locale adjusted and all that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah the utility intuition. I know. It, it, it's a strange kind of okay. thing that happened. Okay. You should probably write an article on well, the Well, I can certainly understand. Well, think about it, though. You can, you can, you can understand. Okay. <laughs> if that timer dot device has the ability to access certain things in the Todd logic on the chip, yeah. and you're measuring things in incredibly small quantities, and you're setting up triggers, yes. Although they didn't have that in 68k days, but they do now, right? Mm -hmm. So you can set you can set an edge trigger, and you can start an event, and then yeah. it'll stop, and it'll do a very for instrumentation purposes, right? Well, it's very very precise. yeah, because that's what the performance monitor hardware uses. So I mean, I can understand why you might want to have a timer dot device. I just don't understand why you would use all this just to get uh, yeah. like a user uh, level date. Yeah. Yeah, but I think they're just showing you yeah. that for That's the an long hand way to okay. do it. And then they provide you the with a bunch of different other ways to do it that sort of suit different. But I assume that the intuition way probably gives you ways to format it for the user on the basis of locale and so on. Yeah. Registered. But it, and then there's different ways to format it too, and all the usual stuff you expect. Yeah. Notifications, interesting. Mm. Mm. Notifications. Yes. 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 So uh, this is brand new. Oh, this is notification file notifications, not. Well, notifications. Uh, DOS object notifications. Yeah, 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 yeah. but not. It's not right. No. No. This is in the higher level form. No. This is the lowest <laughs> file. Right. Uh, notifications turns out to be trickier than you think when you <laughs> try to handle well, all the strange I was kind of surprised that Andy said you get notification if you open a file and close the file. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. Got, we were getting two notifications when yeah. I was writing a script and, uh, yeah. and uh, for multi-viewer to watch a directory 
every time somebody did something, you'd get two messages. So I just put in a timer to ignore the second one. Timer? I think I think so. I, mean, I can't remember what it was because it was very it quick. It just if anything happens, it's like it gets. Because hmm. couldn't, we couldn't expose, it wouldn't expose enough information to tell what the notification was. Because oh. I was doing this through the interface that Andy gave me in a Really? And I wrote a script where you can go in and select a directory and even a file string if you want to, a filter. Yeah. And then tell a multi viewer to watch that directory. And if it sees a new file that fits either the path or the filter, yeah. it'll load, keep loading the images. So. And ah. just keep reloading them, thumbnailing, and all that good stuff. But you'd get two messages for every font, as I recall. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you get you get two for sure. Maybe even more, depending on how you set things up. Yeah. Yeah. And then I, I wrote a little scanner to show you all the notifications that are active in the system in Ranger. For sure, if somebody happens to follow, then does rock, 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 rock. Do it. Follow yeah. them. You'll get, get half a dozen. You see, there's a lot of attention to you. Is there a lot of overhead to that? Yes. There is? Yeah. I think that's safe to say. Yeah, I would say there's a lot of overhead relative to not having it. Well, but I just wonder, I mean, like, you know, you if you don't things. have it, it's a real pain. Right. Oh, well, it's a real handy where you do have it. Or, you know, you, re you have change it. internet preps. Yeah. And internet preps um, uh, automatically changes your configuration. Yes, that's a notification. Otherwise, you have to pull. We get the poll or go in there and manually say, load this interface. Have you changed? Have you changed? Yeah. <laughs> well, but that brings up the question which I, where one of the examples where I was wondering about memory pools. So, um, memory pools, yes. Who was it? Nick, I think? No, it was Rezi. Hubert in Germany came up with this website that has this long list of like known spam servers. And you, you came up with this, and paste, paste it into the, um, and it's all formatted and everything. You put this list in, so well, that, right? maybe, maybe it's more than that. I don't maybe remember. It. It's not on this machine. It's on my X1000. But it just bogs the X1000 out for two minutes. Wow. It's just sitting there. Checking, checking, checking. And there's no feedback to tell you what it's doing. So it's like, every once in a while, I open up Internet Press, so I'm like, oh, crap. <laughs> 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 wow. Cool. Wow. But would pools help that? No. No, not that particular yeah. case. You need a hash algorithm or something, or just well, speed something. up the lookups? Well, I don't know that it's looking up. It's just reading the it whole must thing. Be doing it over and over and over and over, right? It's whatever's in that, the, to make that list to show you all the... Maybe it's, maybe it's the sort. It's taking all the sort or something. Yeah. It shouldn't take long. I agree. It should. <laughs> that's a different problem. A wonderfully useless word. <laughs> but that, that's a that's an algorithm issue. Okay. okay. Yeah. That's what that I did. Not, I, I, system won't help you there. <laughs> well, it is the system. What are you talking about? <laughs> so notifications. I, I've used them in components, but rarely on in the real world. Rarely. It works well. <laughs> uh, what else you do can have? do notifications on files or on directories. Yep. Yep. So if someone modifies the directory, it will like let you know something changed in there. Yep. Yep. So you can do it on whatever you wish. Even if somebody modifies a uh, lower directory, it'll, once it ripples up into that one, you'll hear about it. Okay. So that's good. And uh, there's a little blurb about some. these virtual drives. What's it called? Virtual devices, I suppose. Signs. What would you call these? Well, well you know, like environmental and or something. Clipboard. Clip. So there's After. various uh, special devices you can access. Console. <laughs> Don't know anything about that. <laughs> oh, no, that's in the next section. <laughs> this is the URL, and remember that? Uh, what do we call it? Launch handler? Launch handler. Which I gotta say is you you once hinted at. Oh, it does way more than you ever know. Yes. Yes. Very thinly documented. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, 
<laughs> we haven't used it that much yet. And he listed a whole bunch of obsolete things. Um, so direct, we do have a nice, a way nicer way of um, doing a directory scan. The old like way it. was terrible. It's terrible. The X next <laughs> stuff, you know. It's terrible. Oh. So there's a, now there's examine object and examine dirt context. <laughs> it, it's nice and quick too. I believe this boils down to a file system issue though at the end because you have to do something special down there to make these work properly. There was some back and forth on that. Yeah. I'm sure uh, Tony knows all about that since he probably implemented it. <laughs> Uh, forbidden, ooh, thou shalt not call exit. I remember they, they were trying to uh, make it look just like C. Mm -hmm. C has an exit function. <laughs> Don't do that. So th this lists a few of the new functions and the what's deprecated. I don't know if it, this is actually up to date now. Because oh, didn't LD do that? Yeah, LD did this as well yeah. in the release notes for the uh, latest version of the OS. So this isn't up to date right now. But what I what I did was I copied the article verbatim and then modified, right? So I haven't gone around to fixing up this section yet. Anybody that wants to help, <laughs> jump in and fix it. <laughs> I always get lots of volunteers <laughs> to, to edit it. the wiki. Zero. <laughs> I was going to hold for about a week, two weeks, and then it was like, Crap. It's like, I don't work here for two weeks, so I've got one page. <laughs> like, you, you noticed it takes a lot of time? Oh, God. Yeah. And then you go look, and it's like, <laughs> thousands of pages. Oh, no. Oh, how many pages do we have on this thing? I don't know. A lot. It's incredible the amount of uh, data on there. Our Although, the one thing which and I, I've been trying to do that, every time I figure something out about yeah. the Amiga by API, I try to add it to there. Well, that's that's what we hope. Is yeah, at yeah. least it's in one spot. <laughs> it yeah, used to be scattered around the internet. In that. Now the trick is putting a better search engine on here, right. which I tried and failed. Yeah, it doesn't work very well. That's no, this search engine is pretty pretty bad. But there's so many other nicer ones, which I couldn't do at the time because of the underlying <laughs> server needed upgrading, and there's. I haven't gone around to going back to fixing the search engine on the wiki. There are much better search engines. What about the PDF building business? And the PDF building. That, I actually upgraded that. That should be working again. It is. Okay. Oh, thank, I hope so, because I haven't used it in a little while. I did upgrade that. But we are a couple versions of Media, Media Wiki behind again, so I have to upgrade. The next one is another one of those nasty ones. We have to. You know, redo your database. So I don't. I don't like to do those ones <laughs> quickly. A lot of users have to format the updates. Just reformat. Just all new files. Scary. Scary. Because there's a lot of data on here now. <laughs> it's everything. Actually, it should, everything should be there. Everything. <laughs> no, I mean, it's, if you just try to navigate your way to something that is extraordinarily That's pretty difficult. Pretty hard. Pretty hard. Yes. yes. I, mean, I know my way around because I've edited pretty much every page. <laughs> pretty much. Not the user section, though. I haven't delved into there. No, so that's much. what I was messing with, and it's like I've been concentrating so much on to do. developer side. The user section, you could go for weeks, months. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm fixing that. Yeah. yeah. Well, before, before I uh, delve into the next section, what's our time check? Uh, it is 11:30. Okay. okay. How are the, where are the new boys gone to? There's, just, there's a new person there, and those two disappeared. <coughs> oh, they're they're strategizing for monitors. They're strategizing. Yes. Oh, have you no monitor? I don't have the right one. The right one. Oh. Okay. There's a wrong one. Oh, DDI. I don't know. Oh. Well, I do have a spare monitor. Yeah. We all have monitors. Where do they go? Cable. You don't have a DDI cable. 
Oh, and uh, hello, Chris. Don't remember Pleasure. you. Uh, I signed up online. I'm Stephen. Chris White. Pleasure to meet you. Chris White. So you're local or? No, actually, uh, down in Arizona. Arizona. So, yeah, I flew oh, wow. flew in and uh, it was a little a little late getting in and uh, a little late getting the shuttle to the the, the uh, hotel. So yeah, yeah. So I missed the first part. So I thought, watch it online. You don't have a system to play with? <laughs> no. Well, I do. It's uh, unfortunately still still down there. So okay. I have a, a couple of unique systems. So. Well, if you have any questions, blurt out because we'll <laughs> I won't know when to stop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What right. systems have you got? Uh, 4,000 and 2,000. Yeah, 2,000 uh, I got to put back together again. It's uh, seen better days. Yeah, yeah, nice, nice. 4,000 I just uh, put back together uh, probably about a year or two ago. So I refurbished it a little bit. Oh. Uh, a couple broken things in it. So it's kind of partially working, but it's yeah, a little, little love. <laughs> Buy anything from a beacon? Yes. Oh yeah, lots. <laughs> That's right there. Lots. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Matthew likes to hear. <laughs> yeah. Just thought I'd mention. It's right there. Bye bye. A whole bunch of stuff. I was pleasantly surprised to see the, the availability of uh, parts for my machine. Yeah, 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 because uh, it's so hard to find reliable sources. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and and eBay, too? Um, eBay? Oh, gosh, I forget all my, what I have now. Uh, that, that's a website. Yeah. Oh, 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 okay. It's for trading a yeah. No, no I haven't heard of that one yet. It's a, it's oh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a kind of a shoot offshoot. Uh, or some guy set up on a basically like eBay, but it's Amy they own. Yeah, and, and they try to keep the prices reasonable. Yeah, oh, right. Versus yeah. EBay. <laughs> Yeah, I've, I've noticed uh, yeah. the machine I bought was, was mostly broken and I still paid a, oh. a good chunk for it. <laughs> yeah, 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 see. There's, there's lots to learn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> still better than the original system I looked at, which was probably about four grand, I think, of yeah. several years ago. You're on Amiga Org? Uh, I don't remember Amiga. what set up. So or web forum? Amiga. 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 Good choice. Yeah, good choice. <laughs> That's a good choice. If you're a classic guy, you get the EA part. And then or EAB. And the EAB is a big one. Yeah. E what's the extension? English it's uh, EAB.ABIME.net. E okay, so it's a bit funny. E okay. English Amiga <laughs> Board. English Amiga Board. English Amiga Board. <laughs> That's another classic place to find fellow classic traders. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I think I, I think Amiga Org I've been on a few times. I think I've yep. got some manuals and some addicts from down there. Yeah, so all good sources. Yep. <laughs> and there's a lot of classics programming information out there. Yep. Oh yeah, so, absolutely. I mean, tons of examples. Yep. Whereas this yep. right here is all newer. All yeah. Stuff. Well, the the wiki I started at four zero and up. So. Okay. But there's there's some there's <laughs> another tons effort out material. there for a, a 68k wiki. Yeah, but it's not very full out. Okay. The thing is, is that these are basically the RKRMs, but updated. Well, yes. This is all of the RKRMs. Did you bring your printed well, copy this year? I did actually. I've got my printed copy. Yeah, that's the, the, the only the RKRMs uh, are out there, and they're fantastic things to program from. Oh really? Okay. It's like they go through and describe exactly how everything works. It's all that. It's what the wiki, hopefully someday, it is. in the future, <laughs> might become. <laughs> it has to. No, no, but it's like that's, <laughs> the arcams are indexed and organized and happier. Yeah, no, it's wiki. Like, yeah. He likes books. <laughs> I have a big collection of those as well. Why don't you print out the stuff like I did? Oh no, I don't put this to these like yeah. mature. <laughs> and then the only the only manual I think I didn't transfer was a hardware manual. Okay. Only one. I did do pieces of it here and there. Probably have a hard copy of that. Because it didn't really apply. Yeah. I kind of don't have any classic chips or anything anymore, so uh, I, I did do the midterm stuff. Remember that? That was last year. I actually figured out how it works. <laughs> it's documented for the midterm. And then First there's time the history. There's some emulations in there, aren't there? Aren't there? Yeah. In the OS. So yeah. It's like some of the stuff does. So if you you'll run into this midterm thing if you're on yeah. a classic, so. That that's article. a great. That's a that was very good. That article applies to class. Steve came up with like he he actually figured out how, how the midterms were calculated in the first place. 
Yeah. Who was it actually that you met at the 30th? It was like, wow, somebody figured this out. Oh, yeah, that was, that was, yeah. Sean, John. what was his name? What are they sitting the, next to? One of the original programmers. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> said, oh, you figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the guy that, like, well, for the weekends, for the fun, he likes to figure out unsolved problems. Oh, right. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, it works for me. I mean, like, so, seriously, yeah. unsolved, like, <laughs> logical, philosophical problems. Oh, that's why I do it the weekends. Let's be an engineer. <laughs> <laughs> Trippy. Wait, was it Mike Sims? Yes. Sims. Yes. Mike Sims. Yes. 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 yes, yes, Great hands. Oh. <laughs> Just fantastic conversation. Oh, oh yeah. I, I, that was so cool. I'd love to spend a weekend. <laughs> Pick his brain. Wow. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, it, so some of this wiki will apply to the classic. Okay. So we're trying to get it, but it's geared for the 4.0 now. So. <laughs> Hopefully, someone will actually try and document the 68k <laughs> stuff someday. But that would be quite an undertaking. A lot of the 68k stuff on here is still there. That's been moved into things that are anything where it's substantially different. You might find something where it says obsolete, so like obsolete memory allocation or, or yeah. classic. And but I didn't delete it. There's a I lot just of moved it. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of stuff. For example, it was in the RPR Amazon hardware sprites. For example, they're yeah. still on the wiki. It's, it's just, still there. It's still there. I think I put it in an old section. Yeah, or classic or something. Yeah. Or okay. classic hardware section. It's all still there. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Intuition. Any questions? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll I'll, I'll, no, I'll, I'll I'll give them to you as we go. Oh, okay, okay. You want to stop me as I go? Everything is variable. That's great. Um, this was what was this example? I think I just had a couple sliders. Look at how long it is. It's like just to get the sliders on the on there. There it is. That's <laughs> that's an empty window. All that code. <laughs> It's not quite the Java way. <laughs> but it, this is how you had to do it. <laughs> what macros are for. This is what macros are for. Yes. It, it does demonstrate exactly what is needed to get a basic GUI working on. Do you really, I mean, because what he's got here is he's, he's instantiating um, slider gadgets for each one of these things. He's instantiating images for each of the pictures on the gadgets. There's yeah. got to be an easier way of doing this. And then it's got things like knock for its stuff like flow. I mean, this is just this is ridiculous. <laughs> there, That's what you have to do. Yeah. Come on. Well, Steve. but the other thing is also couldn't couldn't there have been a, a simpler example of just simply like, here's a window with the gadgets instead of getting into all the images and all that. There's got to be just some to demonstrate or how you can complicate the simple example. There's there's, there's got to be some macros or something somewhere. This is this is this is sure. Well, it's also a reaction macros. It's it's no different than working in Java. <laughs> it looks different. Doesn't window.class give you this kind of thing for free? No. no you so, still have to make the object and you have to set the properties of the object. Right, but do you have to create objects? Look, look what he's doing, right? He's he's literally creating an object for every single gadget in the yeah. slider. Yes. Slider, the, the up and down buttons for the slider. Yes. Uh, oh, oh, no, no, that that you don't have to. Yeah, that, yeah. that's what I'm talking yeah. about. Like, oh, okay. okay. That's okay. all this Actually, is. You know that there's a if you use a super window. Called, uh, isn't it the super? See, this is the prop G class made method. Yeah. Prop G class, no one uses that anymore. You can leave out a whole lot of those and you'll get the default. Yeah. You, you, you've right. got the, the default with your up down arrows yeah. and stuff. But yeah, that's specifying them here. That's right. Win, window class will do that for you. Yeah. That's that's what yeah. I'm talking about, right? Oh, okay, okay. No, that, this that's is, true. This, this is, is just like, an example of the this is like OS long hand. hand with, well, this that's what I want to say. I had an example before this say, look, here's how simple it can be. And yeah. Here's how bad it can be. Instead of here, how bad it, 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 it can be, and let's say figure it out. Though even GAD tools can't be this bad. No, it's the same mechanism every time. It's just how many steps you have to go through. Yeah, but I want to. I want to know what's under the covers. This is a. Uh, this is well, the yeah, older way. Add right. glist, refresh glist. Insanity. See that? I think that's what the, he was kind of pointing out, wasn't he? he was well, saying, it is insane. This is the way the old boops he worked. I believe that's what it. 
there's a little blurb there. So if you uh, let's say take a simple intuition oh, when that is compatible with Amiga 3.9. 3 9. Yeah. So right. if you want this to work on 3.9, you have to do it this way. OS 3 can't be this 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 primitive. Yes. Yes. Unless yes. you add class act and all that other stuff. Well, okay. that or the other, and it gets even worse than this if you were using it before tagged. And you have to actually open up like the get window oh, structure yeah, and all yeah. that crap. I didn't look at those articles on the wiki. Did you? Oh, yeah. Go look at, go look at the RKM from and OS 1 and 1.1. One one. You say this button's next, this one's next. You specify the coordinates of every button. It's wonderful. No, no, in the old days. <laughs> <laughs> it's on there. It's on and there. it still works. And it still runs on 4.1. <laughs> you could compile that, right? Yeah. 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 It actually it's does. Right. Is there any type of editor where you can just kind of generate, you know, place everything you want on the screen? Well, that's just kind, of that's kind of been the holy grail. Is that the holy grail? And, and you know, there have been so many it. efforts. You can't have it. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Wasn't, yeah. Wasn't there a GAD tools editor? And there was. Yeah. 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 There, there were several. There, was, there, was, there, was, there were several. Yeah. yeah. There yeah. was yeah. Emperor for Reaction, well, Class Act. Yeah. There was, there's got to be one for MUI. There's a MUI builder. Oh, yeah. There's a MUI builder. builder. There, yeah. there, there was once before those. Yeah. I mean, they Everyone's tried. Okay. No one succeeded. But if you actually <laughs> look at the code that those things generate, it's spaghetti code. Yeah. It is not pleasant looking. It's not pleasant at all. No. No. Jeez. Even even Simon was talking about trying to build a GUI builder into CodeFetch. That's been one of his projects yeah. for one of the yes. plugins. And and it's like yep. Yep. he's yep. gave up. I mean the problem is how do you go into that and then come back out again into the code without turning it into crap? And well, the good news is that Simon did most of the round trip. He did most yeah, of all yeah, the, the exactly. Boopsie updates, so he's the guy to do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He did a lot of all that Boopsie stuff. Yeah. The, the reaction to, we don't even really call it reaction anymore, do we? Just, oh, no, it is. Do we we're still, still call it reaction? with that word. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, well, then there's also reactive. Yeah. No, 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 no. no. That's, 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 you've given that's, up trying to get rid of reaction. That's part of Rene OS. I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought Simon wanted this to refer to all to Boopsie now. Well, it is all boopsy. I know it's boopsy. Yeah. It is. I mean, Mui is boopsy. Yes, it is. So, you know. Yeah. It is. Just, I never did finish that article either. That on Mui? No, <laughs> on why, why they're all boopsy. Oh. And how they really relate to each other highest level. No, you, you gave a good example, highest actually, level. on in the 2011 conference. Did I? You did? Oh, thank you goodness. Even you, used, you even used a, uh, a, a board. Used markers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's got to be on video somewhere. Okay. Secret. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so so this is the hard way. I'm completely ignoring this because I'm never going to do that. <laughs> well, it's, it's painful, <laughs> but it shows you the pattern. No, it shows you the pattern. Well, <laughs> okay. So now, screens, screens and windows. If All you right. want to do, you can move windows. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so what was this? Oh, he's, he immediately went into the off-screen dragging option, where you can drag things off-screen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was actually not Wait, trivial. I thought that was automatic. Oh, that was by default then. It is now. It wasn't before because programs are going to crash. Probably. Yes. Good times, good times. Uh, so that, why did we do this example? So that you could see the, as you move the uh, window about, uh, you could see where it moved. Oh, you locked the screen list. Yes, yes, that was interesting. That's why in Ranger I'm able to do that. Yeah. Or I can go to GUI, screen, what was it, uh, screen list, right? Screen no, that, that's not what you're looking for. Yeah. How many rooms was that? Ah. This is not the window you're looking for. Ah, classes, objects, I call it. There you go. There, and I got my workbench screen. I don't have any other screens open, but that's how I got the pointer to the workbench screen. It's lock the screen as a scan it. I only have one screen in this. And then I can go to a certain point, and then I have to stop. See, I wanted it to actually flush out the whole tree. But oh, within the gadgets. more difficult, I found out. Anyway, I won't go there right now. It's uh, <laughs> another thing I wanted to work on someday. Never got around to it. It's on the pile. <laughs> Piles. 
Yeah. <laughs> and you know, every time we do new hardware, I always think, oh, why don't I have that interrupt scanning API added to the exec? So I can see what devices connect to what interrupt. Every have time. Hmm? Yeah. No, it doesn't it doesn't work. Oh, why not? It there's no API in exec to do it without crashing and Maybe if you knew some guy who was working on the OS, if you only could talk to him yes. and wow. get him to add the API to the OS and let you know, and then you could put it in range. Yes. yes. I only, maybe, maybe Sebastian. <laughs> or Costa. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> Hans Jorg. Yeah. Hidden windows? I still don't know why they exist. They exist because Why do they exist? the only way to to make a window that is externally a limited size is to make a window which is internally the, the uh, given size, create the window, find out how big it is because you can't find out the border with some sort of windows being created. Oh, and then, and then okay. adjust it so that yeah, it fits. Yeah. So you, you don't know how big the window will be until you actually open it. Pardon? Yes. That's the way intuition is. Schrodinger's is, is window. Done. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's a good name for it. <laughs> so you hide it, some type. figure out how big it is, and then open it. That's yeah. scary. But there you go. There are a lot of programs that will, you see a little flicker of a window in the corner. That's another like, one. Um, yeah. uh, you know, Timberwolf. But I've seen it a lot of times. And something flickers in the corner and then all of a sudden it grows to the window it is. Yeah. I assume they're doing the same thing. But this it's actually opens problem. it up off screen or or this no, is, there's this is on screen but you can't see the it. The tag yeah. hidden. It's just <laughs> yeah. it doesn't actually yeah. render the window. It, it it does render it. Yeah. It has to. That's the only way to know. No, 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 but I mean that but you don't to visually the, see to the it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it pretends it's rendering to the rest But you of the actually system. get all of the, everything else of a window yeah. is there. So yes. you could actually build gadgets in it and render yeah. images. It's all there. And, and then just flip the bit and yeah. it's like, exactly. it's there. there it is. Yeah. yeah, that's how the console works. There you go. Because people like to be able to type in, oh, I want a window 25. Character uh, rose by 80 characters. Yeah. And the only way to do that this time. Okay. Yeah. So you I'm actually used it. it. Wow. There. Somebody used it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's it's an interesting quirk of the intuition design. Can we say? Well, it's kind of like what the other quirk about the top uh, order. You have to do minus one. Oh. Uh, well, I mean that was with a multi viewer <laughs> for the longest time with, with on the height. You have to do minus one. You don't do minus one, it will not be correct. Because <laughs> it can't be the size of the screen. It can it has it's, to be one. It's an ancient small. bug from Amigo OS 1.2 or something. 1.1. 1. 1. Oh, Way back. is that the one controlling that? Yes, I'm turning it up because it's freaking freezing. I know that. I've been messing with that one over there, and it's like, oh, careful. There you go. Oh, that's what happened to the room temperature. <laughs> Why? I thought you Canadians liked it cold. It's not that cold. It's fine. <laughs> I feel bad for Robert. He's going to have a lot of things to cut out of these videos. <laughs> I'm keeping most of it in. Now see, that's not good news. <laughs> it's the most interesting part, though. <laughs> then there's the, the easy requester. Oh, I wrote, a I wrote a tutorial for easy requester. Did you? It's in the wiki. Is it? Link it to that. Really? It's in there somewhere. Wherever the regular How docs are. How am I going to find point. it? <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the things I figured out. I was like, oh, geez, how the hell does this work? Oh. Well, if I search for easy requests, the only thing that comes up is this article. Just search for the word easy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That doesn't, okay. It's not going to be there very often. It's probably true. <laughs> And it does. Making life easy. Data types, style guide, candy, intuition. Public. Oh, for God's sake. I'm not, it's not worth it. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Intuition requesters. Uh-huh. Ah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Easy requesters. 
this this isn't the requester class one. That was really interesting. This one's okay. It pops up a little dialog. Yep. Oops, sorry, requester. I'm using Windows terms. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> Forgotten requester class. This was called. That was an interesting, uh, interesting project. I like that one. I don't know if I can grab it, can I? Because it's pretty, pretty large. Not too. Control C. Is that Control C? Yeah, I've changed things. Point ball C. <laughs> oh, it's got a few arguments to it. Mm. Look at that. First try. Oh. <laughs> integer. Nice. Enter an integer. No. Won't let it. So I can't stop. No. Zero. Is that an integer? We're not sure. A string. That's why I'm thinking of my mustard list. 64 bit integer yet. Yeah. Oh, yes, it's becoming quite a need. <coughs> yes, 64 bits. Oh, oh, I have something open. Here it is. A string getter that will recognize 0x something. Ah, another nice feature. That yes. is nice. Yes, that would be nice to have. Mouse wheel, and then uh, a little explanation of the new API for the mouse wheel. It's been done properly. Although you still see, once in a while, this new mouse thing. There's actually something in sys documentation, isn't there, about this? This new mouse thing. That was more of the hack, and then this is the, the corrected way of doing it. <laughs> I don't remember ever getting new mouse to work. No, I never got new mouse to work either, but you'll see it on classic hardware a lot. New mouse. Because they attempt to get the mouse wheel to function because it came late in computing. Yeah. What's a mouse wheel? I only have two buttons. <laughs> <laughs> and it works. Extend mouse. Seems like it's spelled wrong. We should say extend. Let me pull this up. Um, Oh, it says extend. Hmm. Yeah, it is. It is. It is wrong. You should say extended. It's totally different. <laughs> yeah. Well, more corrections. Further changes. Uh, class library. Not very interesting. Rainbow is interesting. So this is actually. A, there are actually message types for this. So there's a message. So there's a mouse move message. Yeah. Not a message in the exact sense. No, I I I understand. Right? It's you're sitting there and you're looping and you get a signal. I assume that these cases here, are, these are aliases for some integer somewhere. IDCMP close window or. Oh my. <laughs> I had a feeling where he was going. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> he just chopped him in his tracks. <laughs> uh, it's interesting to, to see all the various signals that it uh, registers and report back. Codes. Yes. Yes, it's been an interesting journey. <laughs> You're looking at 30 years worth of evolution now. Yes. It's 30 years worth of evolution. Started out with what? Size Verify, the very first code. <laughs> I don't remember seeing this in the intuition headers in the SDK. Yeah. This is in there? Yes. Intuition.h. I know it well. <laughs> There's a lot of interesting things that have happened. We're running out of numbers too, aren't we? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
and then the lonely message. Lonely. <laughs> I don't remember what where that's used. Oh, dude. I have to look that up someday. And there's piles of stuff in here. Yeah. This is the original header file that used to have everything in it. Oh. And who was it that did this, RJ? Didn't RJ do intuition? Yes. Which one to do it was that? It's a yeah. type, yeah. 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 A little bit of French thrown in. <laughs> didn't come from Quebec, did he? I don't know. Where's RJ? <laughs> Should have asked him when we, we saw him there. Wow, this is amazing. There's piles of things here. And all the tags got added. This is all. No, but I mean, like, you can stuff. add highlight modes to various gadgets and. <laughs> Oh yeah, that was the old-fashioned way of doing stuff. Uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff to uh, to add things relative to the positions of others. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it goes on and on. It'd be and kind on. of painful to do it this way rather than with reaction, but fair enough. Rainbow is an interesting program. Did you try that one? No. It's a good one because it's got a visual, right? It's got some sliders and stuff. <laughs> it's really? way shorter than the other program, and it does way more. You can see it's using the advanced features now. And it, it is cool. This is a cool program to play with. Is this what the Amy took? Yeah. Uh, I think does. I don't <laughs> actually know. How do you use that? I've never actually been able to use it. Use the use rainbow? It. You the don't rainbow use docking. it. It just does it. And what is it used it draws, for? It doesn't do anything. It just, just draws a little bit colors. So what's the point? It's pretty. It's to hypnotize you and make yeah. you ask questions. All right. Well, it's just, it is succeeding. <laughs> it worked. Sucker. <laughs> this flag says, give me that old auto knob. Man, you gotta love some, some of this stuff here must date back to the Commodore days. There's a lot of humor in here. Yeah, it's right. It does. There is a lot of humor in We lost all the humor when the Germans took it. <laughs> the Germans. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. There's still a little bit of humor here and there, but not nearly as much, no. Like the rad boogie bit. Here we go, into a message. Now we're talking. And there's extended into a message. Yep, I see it. Yes. Still haven't updated the API. Tablet that. data. That's just screaming but, to be um, fine. If what you want to play, this is the good program to play with. With the great one? Yeah. Oh, hold on. yeah. That's a good one to play with. <laughs> you come that brain. We still haven't got all the uh, the German comments converted over, but it's getting there. The IDCMP sender hat nicht in der Gadget ist der Unmoi deshalb extra freigegeben werden. Freigeben answered out loud on Gadget objects. Sehr gut. Das Fenster öffnet. Ach, öffnet muss sagen. Das fürs Schaufeld gezeichnet werden. <laughs> do, you, do you have to put this strenuous accent on? <laughs> yes. Because okay, it doesn't, I just ask. Because it doesn't sound funny otherwise. The whole, the whole point is it. Well, only to American ears. <laughs> I forgot about this. Uh, we did get a volunteer to actually go in and convert all the comments. To English? Yeah, but I haven't. I haven't managed to get the time to post them yet. <laughs> Somebody posted to amiga.org that, that they, you needed help with that. Oh. Okay. When did they? Just, when did they I don't know. I got an email. During the Emmy, one of the Emmy. I got an email from some some fellow, and he helped me. That's very nice. Yeah. You can look up who he is. <clears throat> Can't I? Got my email right here. <laughs> ah, there it is, Florian. Lauren F. Laufer, Laufer, L-A-U-F-E-R, Laufer. There you go. I said, I, I heard you had, you needed help with translation. I did. Have you heard this? I didn't ask. I guess. <laughs> so, <laughs> He's probably referring to the thread. Yeah, some some thread. I haven't been reading web forms for months. So. And, and don't. It's, it's, uh, don't? Okay. No. That's not a problem. <laughs> I find they're 99% they're 
Christoph for some time. <laughs> hey, in Dresden, they're for niche. Christoph is reporting that Anon is going to start uh, releasing the Xbox album, and they have pricing information. Oh, yeah. If only we knew someone from Anon Gee, to, where is he? to verify this information. <laughs> what? What do you want? What do you want on the Mega Network in terms of people posting about this? Do you want this embargo or not? I've already, uh, I've already posted on Mega World saying that uh, pricing's subjective to what what hardware configuration you've selected as a customer. Okay, that makes sense. Because they seem to think that there's one price fits all configurations. But, uh, so you're doing configurator? Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, nice, so, nice, so. okay. Good, good. I haven't caught up, so. <laughs> we, and what's your, uh, how, how it's going to be? We've got, well, we've got a oh, US right. distributor. So, uh, oh. Wow, you've been busy. Yeah. Yes, well done. <laughs> Aaron's very excited. <laughs> He's very, very excited. He is very excited. He's very excitable. I hope it works out well for all involved. I hope so. Good. I'll have to catch up with you guys on this stuff. He was later. supposed to be. He was supposed to be here. He was supposed to be here for him. Who, who is it? Aaron Smith. But he's too. Busy. I don't know that. He's too busy right? receiving packages. Mm. Yep. Oh, so you couldn't make it is. to the show. That's too bad. You wanted to come here, but um, I'd love to meet uh, distributor dealer types. Well, God willing, we're, in gonna person. Have, we're gonna finally have a US-based distributor for this stuff. Wow. Just need a Canadian one. Well, <laughs> the US is closer than, than if, the if, UK. If Trump moves, I'm gonna take my if Trump wins, I'm gonna take my money and go to Canada, I'll be a dealer. <laughs> well you, if you do come, it's worth thirty percent more. This is a good time to move. Aaron's Everything's on sale. Aaron's in New York City, so uh, New York State, so yeah, it's, not, it's not too far. Not too far from the no, it isn't. In fact, he's literally on the water. So, <laughs> so um, where are you now? You're going. I went graphics. to graphics. Okay. Graphics. So this turned this article more focused on fonts than graphics in general. I I think because he's trying to do all the new stuff, and the new stuff is in the font area. The disk font library and so forth. Yes. Yes. It has a very interesting example on this article too. Um, it actually draws characters using the font engine, um, what is this Glyph font engine? engine, which I've never seen a complete nice example of until this article, actually. <laughs> Very nice. Do you know who the Xeno 74 is? Yeah, it's Christian. Christian. It's a God's That's Christian, okay. So this font viewer is really a nice little example on how, if you're interested in rendering glyphs, this is the way you can get it done at the lowest level, which is really interesting, I found. So it's using those mysterious font engines that are underneath doing all the aliasing, all the fancy <laughs> hints and all that. And it works nice. Like this is a screenshot from. Is the, the is the font computer. engine basically free type too? I mean, what is or is it? Uh, it's various. A native solution. Uh, I, there's a little chart up here. Let me show you. Where is that chart? Because I know I typed it in. It's at the bottom. Oh, there it was. Font engines. Okay. Ah, there we go. So we have bullet, which is CompuGraphic. I think they're long gone, aren't they? Oh yeah. Agfa CompuGraphic, the Agfa is still around, but as far as I know, they don't still produce that hard. Type 1, PostScript Type 1, right. TTF, True Type, and FT2. Now, is there a reason why we can't just use Type Manager to install all this stuff? I thought we could. Well, this is access to rendering those glyphs directly. Oh, I see. Yes, so you, users use Type Manager. They install their fonts, they're all happy. Yay. But what if you wanted to render some Chinese character? We don't have How do you do it for that. Um, yes, we do. What? This. What, free type? Yes. You, you access the font engine, you give it the right code, give it the right font, and you, got, you have your character. Cool. You can do it. Does it, does it handle uh, right to left languages? It does whatever you want, because you're doing it character by character. Oh, that's right. You that's do right. it every yeah, yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I expect this to be done next week. This isn't intuitive. <laughs> <laughs> yes. See, it is. It is there, though. That's the nice thing. Like, if you have some some font you downloaded from the internet and it's got your whatever characters in it, 
whatever language you're playing with, you, right. you can do it. You can do it. It's painful. I'm not saying it's easy. <laughs> So essentially, you don't have to wait for the OS to have support because you have access to it. If someone was interested in a, you know, a word processor. So basically, if you want to roll your own string handling, here's you how you do it all. the actual characters. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Then we, we did that in the UTF uh, support in utility library a little bit, so you can get some of that conversion done by the OS at least. A little bit is there. It's coming along. <laughs> it's a wonderful little thing. I, I, I love this because I've never been able to figure out from the RKRMs how to do this bullet stuff correctly. And he finally explained it to me, so I was quite happy to see this. Now, you are allocating your own um, bitmap and you are telling the font engine render into this bitmap and all that low level stuff but at least it's doing it. It's quite interesting. So it, it literally is just returning a simple bitmap. That's, yes. That's all it is. Yes, you're telling the engine, draw into this chunk of memory, and it's doing it. And there you, you get your M, right? It's a lot of work to get an M. <laughs> Was so neat. I should I should have put in some uh, Japanese character or something. Kanji. <laughs> Wasn't what's his name working on this? Many have. Yes. Few have succeeded. I, I gotta get back to that project too. See, I got, I, I got so many projects. <laughs> but the, this article focused mainly on the fonts. Can I ask out of curiosity though? So it, it, let's say I, I wanted to. I wanted to concatenate all this stuff together as mm. strings. That's fine. So I end yeah, up with a kerning then. Yeah, I end up with a bitmap. Mm -hmm. But now I've got to, depending on the shape, I've got to figure. How would you do that? Because you got because in some cases you're literally going to be overlapping the bitmaps, right? Yeah. You're going to be merging them. How do you do that? How do you do it's that? supposed to be in the font. How to do it? Yeah, because uh, there's curve matching. Yeah, I don't know how to access stuff. that information. If it's in the API or not, it should be because how else are we doing it? <laughs> I think it must be there. I have to go look at the, the disk font library. I know as much as you right now. <laughs> I didn't dig into that aspect. I've always wanted to, but I never had the time to mess with fonts. No, I'd love to be able to come up with like a simple text. What I the thing is, is what, what we really want to be able to do is. Um, the text editor can Is the source available for that, or is that something that's proprietary to the OS? Proprietary right now. Yeah. I'd be very curious to see how they did text editor gadget. Because I'd like to modify it. That's an old one. Well, but the idea is I'd like to be able to modify it in such a way to be able to handle right to left languages. There's a rich editor gadget, which is. That was Peter Gordon's, right? Yes. That still needs to be uh, polished and released. Simon has it. He uses a yes. variant of the code bench. Yes. That might have the capabilities you really need. It might even do that. The right to left. I wonder if it's got the capability. I didn't look inside. Cool. That would be nice. Or you could just change the language to go left to right. That's another thing. <laughs> well, that's a little more complicated. No, <laughs> I mean, there's no... Scrub out a couple thousand years. It's fine. No, 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 no. But I mean, like, you can't... <laughs> at the intuition level, you can't do it. Because I, I always wanted to be able to do it with things like menus. And yeah. Forget that. That's not going to happen. But but a tech center gadget... Yes, you can do something. Because somewhere in that gadget code is going to be how they actually form strings from... Yes. And, and, and render out the string contents on a character-by-character -character basis. Yes. That. I'm very curious to see how they do that. Yes. I am too. That would be interesting. I never looked in that area. So that, that was only... That was covered under graphics. Yeah. I didn't see much else. Going tutorials again. Yeah. Transparent windows he's got, that's the compositing thing. That was cute. Yeah. That was cute. Data types are more interesting. 
Yeah. We, we don't have to go through transparent windows if you don't want to. Do you want to look at it, Bell? Or no. any questions about it? Yeah, we went through it. No comment. I've been using the two net live. Paul's missing, so I don't know what happened to him. He's probably saving the world. Preventing buildings from collapsing. Just, you know, it's usual. Yeah. Transparent windows. That was interesting. How uh, the work you have to go through to to get that to happen. Well, yes and no, right? He's here. Here, he, what he's trying to do is he's trying to do it dynamically. Yes. If you just set a particular transparency for a window, it's just a tag. I mean, it's not. It's that's not, not the end of the world. That's yeah. really easy to do. Yeah. Non-square windows. That was interesting. So you got this. Uh, that is cool. He's got like creates a sort of mask, right? And then yeah. he, 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 he literally says, "Okay, now we're going to set the alpha channel to max." Yep. So everything shows through this this little the mask little that I created. Graphic. Yeah. Yes. There it is. Yeah, the mask is the graphic. In that case. Yeah, yeah, in this case. And I included the test pick. So you can actually download the file and actually compile it and run it. And it that's a screenshot from this computer, so it works. Yeah, I've been on I take it this is how um uh, uh, oh for heaven's sakes. The DM Ripley boys did candy. We had the BOS look. Theme? Is there, you could have the tabs. There was that theme that went through. I've never seen that. Yeah. It's, I think it still works, doesn't it? I haven't used it in ages. Didn't hear about it. No? No. Oh, okay. Okay, no, we had multiple themes. Uh, that was a while ago. Is that in the anniversary uh, party or whatever? Yes. yes. The anniversary. Yeah. Like that's what you said. You put holes in things and all sorts of stuff. Any little yeah. effects. Brian, they're all fake. Data types. Oh, okay. I like data types yeah. personally. That's me. Really Helps me do the job. Uh, where are we at? Oh, we're at lunch. Maybe we should break. What do you think? <laughs> Can we leave our machines here? Yeah. Yes. There'll be somebody here. Probably me. I'll have my lunch here. Good, good. Don't have to worry. All right. We'll just have a little break. Lunch? Uh, what do we need? An hour and a half, probably? <laughs> Maybe. Usually it takes an hour and a half. What time should we meet back here? 1.30? Um, what time is 2? <laughs> is there anything in the hotel uh, for food? Or? No, no, that's why it takes that's a while. That's why a little time. Gotcha. gotcha. That's you why it drive takes a while. The closest place are 5-8 minutes away, but then you've got to stand Normally, the Normally, like one year we had it delivered. And we just yeah, stayed here. But we ordered it early enough that it got yeah. here late. Now you have to you have to have at least ten minimum order and all this okay. requirements. Yeah. Cut to pizza tomorrow. And plus different people like different foods. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Has anybody checked in with Trevor to see what his situation is? Yeah, I suppose it's kind of just a second ago. Is he still waiting? Well, he's going to put us on Friday. So he's going to stay in San Francisco until then? Joyce. Business. Well, uh, otherwise, it's four hours there. It's four hours to drive? drive? Two and a half hours. Two and a half, so. San Francisco is only two hours. Well. Well, you went Paul's driving, yeah. It's where you're going. Where you going? When Paul's driving. It's only half an hour. <laughs>